Another left to right shunt that's pretty common is a ductus arteriosus. It's very common in premature babies. Normally, the ductus arteriosus should close within the first four days of life. In premature babies, there's a higher instance that it stays open and does not close in those first four days of life. And if it's large, it can give you a large left to right shunt, just like a VSD. You're going to have tachypnea, failure to thrive, etc. But unlike a VSD, the exam will be a little different. They'll have bounding pulses. Why? They have a large left ventricular stroke volume. And then during diastole, all of that aortic blood is going back through the ductus into the lungs. So their pulses are bounding and they have a wide pulse pressure. They'll have a continuous machinery murmur. Forgive me, I'm going to try to duplicate it. You'll hear... It's continuous with systolic accentuation. So how do you treat these? Well, in the neonate, in the nursery, oftentimes endomethacin will be used, and it seems to have a high success rate reported. And nowadays, some institutions are using ibuprofen and even acetaminophen to get ductal closure. If it doesn't close with medical therapy and needs to be closed, you can close it with surgery or with catheter-based therapy. Some institutions are even taking these very small neonates of uh, 15, 1,700 grams and closing them by catheter now. It just, it's very uh, dependent on the institution you're at. 